The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the night shined. Welcome to this service of lessons and carols from here in St Stephen's Lansdowne and from St Mary's in Charlecombe. I am Andrew Avramenko, the curate for the benefice, and I am very grateful for our brothers and sisters in Christ who are participating in it to help us celebrate the coming of Christ in the past, present and future. I'd also like to thank the choirs, musicians and producers who have made their singing available on the internet and pray for their blessing in our use of it for our worship today. These are challenging times, made dark by both the long nights and the impact of the coronavirus pandemic. So along with this service, we in The Benefice are producing a series of services for you to watch from the safety of your own home. There is a link in the description below this video to the times and dates of each service online, in church and outside over this Advent and Christmas time. This service will flow from the spoken word to the sung without any introductions and any responses and liturgy that you will need will appear on screen. So without any further ado, let us begin this service. Beloved in Christ, be it this Christmas tide our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see the thing which has come to pass, the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purpose of God from the first days of our disobedience and to the glorious redemption brought to us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill among all his people, for unity and fellowship within the church he came to build, and especially in this city of Bath and the diocese of Bath and Wells. And because this, of all things, would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love, Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are forever one. With these prayers and praises, let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. 
May the humility of the shepherds and the faith of the Magi, the joy of the angels and the peace of the Christ child be God's gift to us and to all people this Christmas and always. Amen. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, 
and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end, upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice, from henceforth even for ever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when he, she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, 
and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then Mary said unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing as I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God.
Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. And Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Father God, may the words I speak be the words you want spoken. May the words that are heard be the words that you want to be heard. I ask this through the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Last Christmas, none of us could have imagined the year that we would have. Even in late February, the pandemic was somewhere else. Back then, I remember I was walking under bright blue skies on London streets to buy this white cassock alb that you see me wearing. Then, in March, normality changed for us all. Doors were shut on so many places, so many opportunities, so many people. Our streets, our lives became much darker. In thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. We have all had our own times of darkness this year. We have lost so many people, too many people, to not only the coronavirus, but to other illnesses, both physical and mental. People have lost jobs, businesses, homes because of it. And the virus has helped to drive hunger and poverty in this nation to horrific levels. But there is hope. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. My moment of darkness was a week before Easter. I was rushed to hospital in an ambulance, leaving behind my wife and children in tears from our fears that we would not see each other again. But as I lay awake and alone in the darkness of the hospital ward, light walked in. First came nurses. Cleaners came in later. So did doctors, porters, technicians, administrators. And then from a community in which I was merely a name came some more light. This community of St. Mary's and St. Stephen's churches sent prayers by text, email, phone and through the Holy Spirit. And each person, in each act, in each prayer, there was a bit of light a bit of love, a bit of God, and that was all that was needed. Light and hope returned to me, even though the illness continued. 
At Christmas, we remember Mary bringing into this world the perfect light, a baby, a baby sent by God, of God, to save us from the darkness. He didn't just come to grant us eternal life, but to help us through our present life. Then spake Jesus unto, again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This Christmas, we need to look to the light and for the light, in each other and in each moment. Jesus is with us and acts through us, not just for Christmas, but for life. Yet in the dark street shineth the everlasting light. Amen. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. 
And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Thanks be to God. This was the moment when before turned into after, and the future's uninvented timekeepers presented arms. This was the moment when nothing happened. Only dull peace sprawled boringly over the earth. This was the moment when even energetic Romans could find nothing better to do than counting heads in remote provinces. And this was the moment when a few farm workers and three members of an obscure Persian sect walked haphazard by starlight straight into the kingdom of heaven. In the beginning was the word and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in the darkness, 
and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Holy Child of Bethlehem, be born in us today. May our song be that of Mary's, saying yes to the possibilities of your creative ways. May our mind be as Joseph's, opening up to unfolding revelation 
despite our doubts. Holy Child of Bethlehem, be born in us today. May our voices be as the angels, joyfully proclaiming good news, especially to those left out on the margins and in the cold, quick and spectacular in our encouragement of the good, reassuring and kind to the fearful. Holy Child of Bethlehem, be born in us today. May our tune be as the shepherds, moving us to fulfil our deepest instincts as to what is right. May our music be as the magis, seeking harmony with the different, pursuing diligently the truth of Christ in work, in lifestyle and in conversations. May we be equally unresponsive to the scheming of troublemakers or the invitations of those who wield power selfishly. Holy Child of Bethlehem, be born in us today. May our church be as the manger, hospitably receiving the Christ Child, treasuring heaven's greatest gift, and in our poverty, ministering to young and old with simple grace. Holy Child of Bethlehem, be born in us today. May this community be as a stable, hollowed and expanded, enriched and purposeful, because of your presence among us. Holy Child of Bethlehem, be born in us today. Today, as a community in your world, we remember our living planet, and we pray for we may live as good stewards of all it gives us. Be with leaders of nations, and help them to make good choices about things which affect our climate. We pray for our nation as we enter a new year and all that it will mean for us. May our government truly have the interests of the nation at its heart and put the needs of the poorest and weakest above all. This evening, as a community we hold in the warmth of our love, all who suffer through illness, bereavement, poverty, broken relationships and stress. In the silence and space, we lift up those known to us, to you, to God. Holy Child of Bethlehem, be born in us today.
watch and pray. The Lord shall come, those who are longing await his appearing. Those who listen await his cry. Watch, wait, listen. And the blessing of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost be with us now and forevermore. Amen.